So, how to change a brake light globe. It's the lower globe in this one series BMW here. And we're going to go in through the tailgate. And we're in here. And there will always be a, a compartment or way of getting at the globe, where you would like to think there is. On this side, we've got a big um, compartment here that um, clips out. See a, a nice big panel, giving you nice big access into there. But on this side, no such luck. We've got a door up the top here, and then just this little hole. And we need to get in there. You see there the light. I'll try that again with the light on. So this little compartment here is all they give you on this side, this little drop-down door. And um, if you've got a CD stacker, I'm sure that'd be full with CD stacker. But in here, there is the light. And we're going to have to clip off the panel. I can see the globe covers there on the wires. So it's a matter of getting to those big clips and uh, clipping that off. Yeah, so those two big... Um, things that stuck out they're just like little clips you just gave them a squeeze and then that panel pulled out very very easily you can actually see the metal clip it clips onto there and three gro globes top the uh, orange one in the middle um, is the indicator and then down at the bottom is the one that's globe so blown so we will uh, just twist him out and have a look so there we go here's the brake light globe the bottom globe we can see here it's a 21 watt 12 volt all car globes are going to be 12 volt 21 watt and it just has the two pins you can get some um, fancier pins than that um, when you've got two elements two filaments in there we'll actually have two um, stoppers on the bottom um, this one's just got the single so it's just a single element uh, and this guy actually has a bit of corrosion down here around the base of the globe and it felt a bit damp when i pulled it out so it might just be that a little bit of water's gotten in there this car's been out in the rain um, so I'll give that a clean up, give it a dry out, and I'll try that globe. It might have been a bad connection rather than a blown globe. But if it doesn't work, then we'll simply switch out the globe. I've shaken it by my ear. I can't hear anything, and that filament to look at is absolutely fine. So it's worth a try. I'll put it back in and see if it's actually blown. Now, the other way to check a globe rather than putting it uh, back into the car is to use a multimeter. And uh, I've just set this here onto the resistance uh, setting. You can see there it's on 200 and it's at reading 19.7, uh, 19.3. And if I touch uh, those together, like giving zero resistance, it, it goes to zero. And when I touch it onto the end of the globe, checking what resistance, is there a wire between the two points? Is the globe blown, i.e. chuck it on the end and it doesn't change. It stays exactly the same. Um, let's see if I can sit that so that you can see it. There we go. 19.6. When I touch the both on the outside, it goes back to zero. And then when I touch it on the end of the globe to check if there's a current through there or not, it doesn't make any difference at all. So the globe's blown. That's a conclusive way of knowing you can throw that one out and get another. So I grabbed a new globe and put it in. That's the slot at the bottom. This um, actually had enough wire to pop out through that little hole in the side. Uh, so popped the new globe in. Uh, just You can see the slots on the hole there. Just slip it into those slots and give it a turn and it locks into place. And then that's how the globe will sit. You can see there's actually four globes there. There's a reversing light is beside the orange indicator as well. And then there's the panel. Okay, so water had been getting in to these globes. Like when I pulled the bottom globe out, it was a bit moist. Um, and what I've done, I've taken all the globes out, I've dried the base, like to get them out, you just screw them, take them out, and I've given them a dry. And then I've also got some WD-40 or CRC. That's um, a fish oil spray. Um, that um, WD is actually a water dispersant. So it disperses the, disperses, uh, disperses the water out of the way. Let me see what's going on there. I'm just gonna screw that globe in. 
that's locked in place. That one's in. Screw. He's locked in place. Make sure he's tight. That one's in nice and tight. That one's in nice and tight. I've just given them all a test. So it's ready to go back now. The orange globe is the blinker. This is the reversing light. It's these two here. The uh, blinker is here. The reversing light is here. And the tail light is the top and the brake light is the bottom. So they're all in and they're all working. So going back in, but it did actually need some WD-40 to put onto the contacts to get it to go. And that's why that glow blew because it had a, a bad contact going. So there you go, a little bit of a bonus and uh, your car's back on the road. And then it's just a matter of uh, lifting that black panel back into place. Uh, really just the globes uh, lined everything up. There were holes uh, through to the blinker lens and then you just lined all the globes up and then click, click, click at the bottom and a click at the top and it uh, clicked into place and was back in. So it was really, really straightforward and very simple. Good luck with it.